This is your Friday host, Fiatari, with a discussion about meditation. So I want to talk about meditation in my Druidic uh, Celtic Reconstructionist practice. Uh, well, one thing that should be understood off the bat is that there is no handbook of meditation in in uh, druidic practice they didn't leave us a book on how to do it in my practice i incorporate zen meditation um, i try to do it on a daily basis and that uh, and i believe that it is a an important foundation for spiritual practice and that may be a, a holdover from my days as a soto zen buddhist i was a uh, practicing Buddhist for about 20 years before becoming a Celtic Reconstructionist. Um, I think that it it is a practice that lends itself well to the um, to the Druidic idea um, for a, a few reasons. One is that it is clear to me that the ancient Druids had some sort of meditative uh, practices, and by that I just mean practices that were designed to uh, alter uh, consciousness, alter your conscious state. Uh, a few of them are described in the lore, uh, and they seem to revolve around um, sensory deprivation of various kinds. Uh, and uh, and trance-like uh, trance -like states. I think the my practice centers, and I do use I do kind of incorporate some other types of meditative practices, um, and uh, you know the trance-like induction of, of a mental state. Uh, but I, but I think the the central practice is important. The central practice of shikantaza, what we called it in, in Japanese uh, Zen Buddhism, uh, shikantaza loosely translated means pure sitting uh, and what that is is developing the, the mind of no mind all those other Zen like koan ish koan kind of stuff it's it's the not it's non thinking it's uh, what I'll do is I'll link a video uh, that I think is a really good video to explain it um, and just talk talk briefly about what the practice involves First of all, it involves sitting for a long period of time, and so it's important that your posture be proper. I'm not going to go into any detail about that because I can talk about that for a long time. Because if you sit still for a very long time with an imp incorrect pro uh, uh, posture, you could do yourself injury. Uh, so it's it's important to to learn how to sit properly. Um, second, the mental state that's encouraged is one where you don't grasp on the thoughts you allow your thoughts to flow freely and you remain aware of them you you're you're sitting you're aware fully aware of your surroundings of your um, of your body of your mental state and you're aware of your thoughts as they arise and instead of running off with your thoughts daydreaming the idea is just to be aware of them and to, and to see them there's a thought okay? uh, an analogy that I like is that it's uh, like looking at a black stage it's all black except for a spotlight or whatever and your thoughts are dancing across the stage and they come onto the stage and they do their dance and they go off the stage and you're just you're just aware of it uh, you don't it's a, it's a, your mind is like an empty hand. It's neither pushing your thoughts away. You don't try to, you know, I'm not going to have any thoughts. I'm not going to have any thoughts. And you're not grasping at the thoughts either and judging them. It's just not, oh, that's a good thought to have or a bad thought to have or anything like that. It's just a awareness. It's awareness training. Um, I think it's important and I think it's valid as a part of Druidic practice. Um, 
first of all, I think it's, it's a valid practice because, for one thing, historically, there is a link between um, ancient uh, Hindu practices and ancient uh, uh, Proto-Indo-European uh, European practices. So there's some connection through like the Rig Vedas uh, and such of the, of the Hindu practices. So meditation practices that come from India have thousands of years of history and that history is connected to the, the practices of Europe, of, of ancient Europe. So uh, it is likely, uh, although that not proven, but it's likely that the ancient Druids had similar practices so as a valid part of, of practice that's, that's good um, developing awareness is crucial i believe i think spirituality is all about awareness ultimately and, and this brings up one of the key differences between my my practice as a zen buddhist and my practice my meditative practice now the key difference is is in the it's sort of a practical matter. Where do I meditate? In Soto Zen Buddhism, you sit facing a wall in a meditation hall. And I, I spent many, many hours doing that. And, and uh, uh, But the... So that's, that's, that's the basic of, the, pra of the, uh, the practice. What I do now is I sit outside. And it's amazing how much of a difference that makes. Uh, I call it communing with nature. <clears throat> so my batteries died yesterday and cut off the video, so I'm continuing it now. So you often hear of druids communing with nature. Well, what does that mean? And uh, I think that this is what it means. Um, nature, this is something I discuss in more detail in another video, uh, is truth. Nature is reality. Um, so through meditation, through the training of our awareness, we commune with, we connect to, communicate with uh, reality, with, with truth. So and I like to do that sitting outside where I can feel closer to the real world. And I sit in meditation, I sit listening to the world, to reality, to my thoughts, to my feelings, and to what is around me, and see myself as just part of that greater picture. I think it's important to practice on a regular basis. I think it's more important to do that than it is to practice uh, like a whole lot but sporadically so it's better to, to sit and meditate for just five minutes a day than it is to like have this big blowout over a weekend or something and meditate for hours and hours and then not do anything for the rest of the month or so so uh, it's much more important it's much more valuable as a consistent daily regular practice that provides a foundation for the rest of your practice, for the rest of your day, really, the rest of your life. Uh, I highly recommend it. So, uh, thank you very much. I hope that this was helpful.